Yes, sir. Okay, so we know that when you drink alcohol, your prayer is uh, not, uh, you don't get the reward for 40 days. You still have to do it, though. So does this mean there is no benefit at all to praying sunnah prayers such as witr, tarawih, etc.? And does that also mean that there's no benefit of doing sunnah acts in the prayer such as saying bismillah or reciting the extra surah? Jazakallah. We know the hadith that whoever consumes intoxicants, his prayer would not be accepted for 40 days. This is the punishment. It does not say you must not pray or because it's not going to be accepted. So what the heck? I have 40 days of freebies. I'm not going to pray anymore. No, this is not the case at all. You should pray five times a day. You should offer your sunnah. You should offer your night prayer. Because this is expressing your remorse. This is expressing your repentance. But if you're defiant and say, okay, it's not going to be accepted, then for 40 days, I'm off the hook. I don't have to pray. I don't have to recite the Quran. I can watch porn. I can do sins. I can play on, t well, t the prayer is, uh, is on without caring because I have like 28 days left. Okay, let's do whatever I want to do. No, this means that your repentance is not accepted and that you're a big failure. On the contrary, 40 days of prayers are not accepted. I'm still going to strive to please Allah, to pray on time, to offer sunnah, to read the Quran, hoping that Allah may forgive this and restore my 40 days of prayer, hopefully, if he accepts my repentance.